stand back. Well, I've just had a very enjoyable trip behind the Black Five on the East Hearts Miniature Railway. In fact, I think it's about to come back past us again, so we'll see that now. I was just chatting to the very friendly volunteers. They've given me permission to have a wander around the site. So I'm going to show you some more um, of the site. We're going to go and have a look at some of the locos and the shed and the signal box. Here we are, the Black Five's coming now. So let's just see that pass and then we'll go and explore a bit further. So as the Black Five passes, let's go for our walk around the site. So if we walk through this platform here, there's a couple, there's something I want to show you. There's, they've got a few of these. They've got these lovely carriages. They're scaled down standard gauge carriages. So you sit on top of them, but they're effectively a model of a carriage. And um, so when there's a train with no passengers on, it looks a really nice sight. Now, if we walk up here to the end of the platform, you can see the signal box, which I mentioned. So I'm going to show you inside there. 
So they said we could have a look. So we go through here into the signal box. There's that the diesel is just about to depart. Let's get a signalman's eye view of the diesel departing. So this is how the signalman would see the train and I'll show you the lever frame. There she goes. So here we have the lever frame which sets the signals and the points for the railway. This is the old Hyde Park Corner lever frame, so it once controlled trains on the Piccadilly line. Now here it is in Hertfordshire controlling the miniature train. So it's really nice to see they found a use for it once it had been redundant in its commercial life. You can see they've got various signalling diagrams. They've also got a more than one computer diagram which is showing so the red section is where there's a train the white section is where the train will be so the red section should disappear and the white section should show red as the train goes round so that's on the inner loop there's will also be here yeah, there we are see now it's become red and this section here should lose its red once the end of the train there we are has now cleared it so that's how they know where the trains are from what they can't see from the signal box so there is another train, yeah, the train station, it must be the Black Five. So let's now go out here. For, compared to some of the miniature rails I've been to, I must say this one has some of the most attractive gardens around the railway. It may not be a huge site, but they really are, you know, very pleasant gardens. And one of my favorite sections of garden is this bridge here. How they've got a pond with a bridge crossing it. So this is on the inner loop that was built in 1980. Is that the, um, oh, the Black Five? You can't really see it because of the fence, but it's just pulling into the station. About to take another load of passengers. So there we are, someone's shouting all aboard. So the passengers will board. In a minute, they'll be passing over this bridge. But before they do that, let's just have a little look at some more of the gardens. They've got this stream coming all the way down here into the pond. They've also got like a siding there, and it looks like it's a line kind of going to an old mine. The uh, diesel train is yeah just going around the outer loop so that won't come over the bridge it will go around the outer loop so if we go up onto the where should we go let's go let's go up onto the hill and we can perhaps see it from above. Hello waving at the volunteers they're very friendly very friendly bunch here so where's, let's see if we can see that diesel so they've got this hill right up here from up here you get great view so the bridge is down there we're about to see the diesel come along and into Amwell Rise Tunnel so just behind these trees here there's also some more locos so I'm going to show you some of the other locos when we're finished up here so there we go there goes the diesel into Amwell Rise Tunnel. Now if we go, how do we go back down here, I'll show you there's some a couple of other steam locos about. Let's go through down this path. But yeah I really really am very impressed with the gardens they have here. I think they're really attractive gardens. They make a really nice backdrop to the railway. So that's Amwell Rise Tunnel, that's where we just saw the train going into. Now if we go up here, there's another loco I want to show you. This is called, I believe this is a Tinkerbell. I think they're really nice, they're very compact little steam locos for miniature railways. And there's also another one of similar carriage, but this one in LMS colours. Now we're on the other side of the bridge. So what I'm thinking is if we get round there in time, we can see the Black Five cross the bridge and then we'll go over to where there's some more locos we can see. So I'm just going to cross the track. I've checked nothing is coming. And we're almost about to see the Black Five cross the bridge. Jeez, 
the black five is just behind the trees. Here we go, she's coming now. So there's one more place to show you, and that is where the other locos are. Oh, diesel seems to be going on to shed. It's backing up with no passengers. I love how they've got an announcement saying stand back from the platform edge when there's a train coming. I think that's a really nice, you know, addition to, you know, the um, whole railway atmosphere. I think that Black Five is about to come steaming past. So let's just see that go by again. There we go. And then the diesel's coming forward. Oh, it's going into the into the bay platform. So I think what they do when they're busier, they run two trains. So now they're not so busy. The passenger train is the steam train. And then when they're busier, they'll run that and they've got two trains, which is a fairly common practice at most miniature railways. Oh, and this to make it even more exciting, there's another steam train coming off shed, a little 1500 class, just waiting with um, some more carriages. The Great Western 15, sorry, 1400 class. So let's just see. There we go. I'm going to have to go and have a ride with that, I think, next. So just one more place I would like to show you. And that is where the turntable is, where there's a couple more locos. Of note, another thing while I'm up this end of the railway, oh, and there's our, our friend the Black Five again. One thing I want to show you, just let you see the Black Five go past. So I don't think it, it doesn't matter how many times I see a Black Five go past, I always, you know, get excited. There are plans to extend the railway out into those woodlands out there. So the railway is currently in negotiation. So watch this space. And as I said, if a miniature railway extends, it means I get to feature it again. So we will be back here at some point in the future. So here is one of the main motive power depots. We've got two diesel locos here. I'll show you this one first, HG Harrison. So this one, you do see these locos at various miniature railways. There's been a few others I've been and had them. Now, talking of things I've seen before, this is quite um, exciting. This loco here is called Lady Anwell. Now, if you think from watching my videos, you've seen something like this before, you're right, you have, but bigger. When we went to Rice at Lido, we saw the loco that this is a replica of. This is a miniature loco, which is a replica of a miniature ro loco. This one's called Lady Anwell. It's a replica of Lady of the Lakes at Rice at Lido. So have a look out for the Rice at Lido video because that was another great miniature railway which we visited. I'm now going to walk back to the station. I'm going to try and get a ride on that 1400 class and um, I'll probably get a few other shots from around the railway.
Well, I've had a great afternoon here at the East Hearts Miniature Railway. It's a really pleasant little line. I've had two steam locos and a diesel for haulage. So if you ever are in this area, I do recommend coming to visit them and all their profits go to charity. So it's a really pleasant railway. It's in a garden centre, so you can come and buy some flowers for your garden, have a ride on the train. Oh, and there goes our favourite Black Five again, departing. So, you know, do come and visit them, have a ride. And thank you very much for watching and thank you to everyone here at the East Hearts Miniature Railway for a brilliant afternoon. And um, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment and, come and visit the East Hearts Miniature Railway. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.